today we're going to be looking at DWM. DWM stands for Dynamic Window Manager. It is a window manager by Suckless Software. I've done a couple of videos on Suckless before. They aim to make software that is free of bloat. By default, DWM comes with three modes, floating, tile, and monocle. So here I'll show you the tiling mode. Self-explanatory, when you add windows to the screen, they tile by themselves. In the floating mode, when you add tiles, you can move them around by holding down the super key by default. And monocle allows you to stack windows on top of each other and then cycle through them. Two, three, four, I'm just cycling through them to show you there. I can put in a browser as well so that it is more clear as I cycle through. While in tiling mode, you can make some of the windows free, allowing it to be dynamic. DWM uses a stack data structure as opposed to a more common tree data structure among other window managers. It also implements a master and slave concept, putting the master on the left and the slaves on the right. You can increase the number of windows in the master area by holding down the super key and pressing I. This puts three windows into the master area on the left there, leaving only one slave on the right. You can swap a slave with a master with a key combination, and with various other patches, you can modify the stack to work how you like. DWM uses a tag system. This is similar to the workspace system in i3. I'll demonstrate. So here we have the first tag, and on the second tag, I'll put two terminals, and on the third tag, I will put three. By default, there are a total of nine tags. DWM stack is shared between all the tags, so windows are assigned a value based on which tag they are in, and when that tag is called, those windows with that tag value are brought forward into the stack. This means that by default, you can only have one layout, meaning that as you switch between the tags, increasing or decreasing the number of windows in the master area, it will remain the same between all the tags. You can implement the per tag patch to have separate layouts for each tag. I'll demonstrate here. So if I add a couple windows here and I make it so that all the windows are in the master area and then I move over to the second tag here, you can see that these are unaffected. DWM comes with a bar. As you can see here, I have my tag symbols here. And on the top left, you also have an indicator for which mode you have set. And by default, you'll have a name for the selected window in the bar as well, which I have removed. The text displayed in the bar is set with x set root, which is a command for x windows. You do this by typing in x set root with the flag name and then typing in what you want to display. This can be used inside a script to display various system information. So I'll go over some of the patches that I have. The most apparent patch that I have here would be the gaps patch. I've made some modifications to it. I've uh, allowed it to change the gap size on the fly without having to compile it. I've also allowed the ability to toggle gaps on and off. And then I've added the gaps patch to be compatible with the per tag patch so that the gap size can be changed on each tag. I noticed on the Suckless website, someone modified the gaps patch to also change the gaps on the fly. I didn't use that, I, I, I did it myself, but I'm, I'm sure that it works just the same that mine does. I also have a patch called attach bottom that basically attaches to the bottom of the stack instead of attaching to the top of the stack. I made a decimal value in my configuration to move the title bar somewhat in the center. And I made another one for the title, but I removed the title altogether, so it is irrelevant. I removed the gap when in monocle and also the border. And when in tiling, if I only have one window, I also remove the border. To install DWM, download it from their website, either the git or the download, and then go into the source directory and type in sudo make clean install. Obviously you have to do this anytime you modify the configuration file or make any patches. So why would you use DWM? DWM is for two types of people. The first being someone who doesn't want to modify anything and have a very lightweight platform. And then there's the second person who enjoys configuring. 
I consider myself to be the second person and I don't mind modifying configuration files or source files. I enjoy the process and in the end, I get something that is optimized for my workflow. I hope you found this informative. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content.